I need to get my eyes on Stuart's notepad. See what they've learned. So did you did you see the man in the hood? Yes. I saw him. He killed that man in the street. I see. Look at all these people. He's got family. It'd be nice to know what they're talking about. I gotta see if I found any leads that I don't already know about. Clues here have gotta tell me something. Looks like the boys are doing everything we can do. This whole thing is just weird. All of us cops just getting nowhere. here thinking about this, I should just go home and get into bed under the covers and... Lady, you still with us? You, you just stopped talking. I... Oh, and is that blood? I can't even imagine. What about his family and I... Hello? I can't even believe that I'm dealing with this right now. This is just... Is... What a night, huh, Robinson? Yeah. Crazy. Ronan. Unbelievable. I don't get it. What was he even doing here? Asking for it. A witness called in saying he saw the bell killer into their building. Ronan responds. Disregards orders for backup. <laughs> Next thing you know, the bell killer tried to see if he could make him sprout angel wings. And then bam, 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 bam. You really Seven to the chest. You really Point have... blank. You really have no idea when to quit, do you, Baxter? Ever take a look at those tattoos of his? All that gangland prison crap? He was more criminal than cop. Yeah, you live like a thief, you die like a thief. He was still a badge, dickhead. up at, at the top apartment on the fourth floor, I think. Killer came here for a reason. Who 
what was it? There, I must have some clues. Except that's my way in, and it's closed. Fantastic. Well, here's my chance. I just need to follow Stuart into the building. Hey, excuse me. Do I need to wait for someone to open a door every time I want to go inside? Yeah, any buildings that were consecrated can be a bit tricky getting into, but once you're inside, it's smooth sailing. Same goes for getting out. Open doors, windows, whatever. It's all fair game. How many buildings are like this? Around here? Pretty much all of them. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. Thanks. Don't wait on me. Just get in there while you can. who it was, maybe I'd know where to look. You look lost. What's lost is my body. I know I got killed right here. And I know it sounds crazy, but but I'd feel a lot better if, if I knew where my body was. Are you a detective or something? You might be my only hope. Yeah, I'm a detective. Any idea who did it? That might lead us to your body. I know they were old people, and I know they lived in this apartment building. Other than that, everything is hazy. But I was doing a lot of drugs at the time. Sounds like you do need a detective. I'll see what I can find out from any older residents of the building. I really hope you find something. give me another heart attack? No, I, I just... It was rhetorical for God's sake. Come on, don't look so lost. Take a look around or something. You know, spy a little. It's not like anyone's gonna stop you.
get a better view of the street on TV. Staring out the window. What good's that gonna do? That girl collapsed like paper when Grace hit her. I still can't believe she died. It happened so fast. I've never seen Grace so crazy before. It must have been the lack of sleep. Thank God it's all over. I can finally watch TV in peace. This is Monica. Maybe if I stopped bringing him snacks, he might look around the room to see if I was still here. for a man. Won't even get out of his chair. Likes that chair more than me. Finally, some peace and quiet. All her parties. How can anyone sleep through music blasting like that? I think she was on drugs. Walter was so tired, he could barely stay awake for the five miles it took to drive to Smithwood Quarry. I couldn't believe he was able to find a pair of lock cutters that late at night. At least the music has stopped. Now we can finally sleep. Like Grace couldn't take the girls partying anymore, so she killed her and roped her husband into helping dump the body at Smithwick Quarry. This is Monica Chase in Salem, where Grizzly Murder get back and let her know. Turns out, the reason you can't find your body is because it's not in the building. It's at Smithwick Quarry, about five miles out of town. Oh. Well, why'd they do it? Your parties were keeping them awake at night. They finally got too tired and snapped. I, I thought they were just being unreasonable. I didn't know they would do this. <sighs> Thanks for your help. You have no idea how big a relief it is just knowing. No problem. You know, I never really liked cops. And they were always giving me shit, telling me how I was messing up my life. We never saw eye to eye on things. But you really came through for me. Probably should have listened to what they were trying to tell me. Maybe then things wouldn't have ended up like this. Thanks again. probably hear you talking through the ceiling. I hope they do. 
Every time we visit Jennifer at this place, it's the same weird characters. That other lady on the second floor, she changes boyfriends like she changes sweaters. And my goodness, the racket. I know that upsets you, dear. This is Monty Chase. Trying to raise the dead! Speaking of dead, I'm pretty sure I heard shots of this. I need you to listen to me. Hell did it come back? Did I do that? Hey, hey! Come back! Those notes aren't for you. Great. Looks like some sort of code or something. Ah, right, well, I made it up to the fourth floor before the police cart away the evidence. monster like you end up in a kid's closet. Her daddy pissed off the wrong people. I was the one sent to uh, expedite things. It was simple. I grabbed the girl, make a few threats, collect the money, then let her go. What went wrong? Her daddy tried to be a hero and got in my way. Looks like it worked. He got him killed is what it did. If you killed him, what happened to you? The people I worked for weren't big on second chances. But it looks like I'll get one anyway. I just have to wait. Death comes for us all. Little girls are no exception. I've got nothing but time, my friend. and hope your luck improves. It ain't about luck, Everine. You got that right, buddy. You might want to remember that when you're looking at your sorry track record. Well, there's always some element of chance. Maybe you'll teach us some tricks, huh? Then I couldn't keep taking your lunch money, big guy. All right. Pull up your hand.
by far the worst birthday party ever. We got cruise, we got TV, what more do you want? Uh, I don't know. Party, maybe? Cool. We could drive to Boston. Drive to Boston? I mean... <sighs> guess that's an idea. What... I mean, logistically speaking, how do we work that out? You wanna take your car? Well, you make it. Now, in a shopping turn. It's a good point. Very good point. Yeah, it's only my birthday for a few more hours anyway. Yeah, then we get on to real life. Hey, it's... It's you! You're famous! Check out the TV! I'm good, thanks.
So which was it, electrocution or slit wrists? The razor. It was only supposed to be the razor. That's what the voices told me. The music was just something to focus on until I bled out. So the radio was just an accident? I started to cut. The warm water made my skin so soft. But I couldn't go through with it. The radio slipped off the edge when I was getting out. And I didn't want to die. It was the voices in my head that wanted me dead. Uh, I'm sorry, kid. Shh. You hear that? Silence. Okay, folks. I need you to keep your distance from the scene here. What happened up here? I'm afraid that's still under investigation. Kai got thrown out of a window. We're still looking at the details. Thrown out of a window? By who? Yeah, who did it? Sorry, like I said, it's under investigation. Is the building safe? Yeah, is this building safe? Perp didn't stick around, if that's what you mean. No. They haven't caught the guy yet. But... They're pretty sure he's not around now. Officer Morgan. Hey, they just want to know if some killer's lurking around, man. You smell out, okay? Don't you worry. How do you know yeah. he's not still know? here? Actually, they're not sounding so sure now. Can I come stay at your place for a few days? People, I understand your concern. I'd appreciate it if you just move along and let us do our work. Hey, Broyles. You seen that little girl that lives here? If she turns up, you come find me. Got it?
then we gotta find these tenants. If they're still alive. I don't know how this will end. The killer is an enigma to the police and a lurking shadow in my own life. If only I can keep Joy from harm, I would do anything, even push her away, if it meant pushing her to safety. Turn around. You're under arrest. go.
you. Do you have anywhere that I could stay? Just for a little bit? Oh, of course, dear. The church is always your deal. Run me down in the street and you didn't even check for witnesses? Like you're untouchable. That girl is my only lead. I need to find her. I still hate heights. <laughs> 